Thank you very much, John. Well, Electric Company spent today repairing power lines that were damaged during last night's storm. One company serves seven counties around the Tri-Cities, but had more problems in certain areas. Local 4's Madison Smith joins us from our Grand Island studio with more. Brandon, Southern Public Power District serves over 27,000 meters across the Tri-Cities area. And at the peak of the outage last night, 600 of those meters were off, including in residential homes. While SPPD serves seven counties, the two with the most problems were Hall and Adams County. Public Relations Manager Amanda Grove says snow isn't the culprit of the damage. It's the ice, especially because it doesn't take long for the lines to get heavy. She says the combination of the ice, wind, and dropping temperatures is ultimately what led to all the problems. Groff says their typical response time is between one to two hours, but they pulled crews in around 1030 last night for a pretty good reason. There were still people that were without power, um, but you get to a certain point in the evening after working in that wind and cold all day, and uh, it's safer to bring people, let them come in, catch some sleep, and then go out at first light to be able to see what they're doing, reassess problems. Groff says other service crews that hadn't been out yet were brought in today to help. And it's Severe Weather Awareness Week, and the Nebraska Public Power District wants to send out a few reminders on possible dangers with power lines. If you notice a damage or fallen power line, report it to 911 or your local utility company. However, if you're in a vehicle and a power line falls on your car, it's advised to stay in, in, inside until crews have arrived unless the condition of the car has been deemed unsafe. If that's the case, you should jump out of the vehicle with your feet landing on the ground at the same time. And it's not just ice or snow. Severe storms, tornadoes, and high winds could all bring down a power line. SPPD serves irrigation districts along with residential homes. But Groff says the company's priority last night and today was to restore power to the residents. Brandon, back to you in Hastings. Thank you very much, Madison.